company that makes the iPhone may build a plant in Indiana. And Tesla may launch its own music service. Jane King's live the NASDAQ with those stories. And as always, so much more. Hey, Scott Lauren, good morning to you. Well, Foxconn, that's a company that assembles many consumer tech products, including the iPhone, looking to build a plant in the United States. Now, the Chinese company could spend as much as $7 billion on this plant in Indiana, reportedly on a short list, along with Texas, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Ohio, to get that plant. Well, Monsanto says artificial intelligence could be the secret to protecting crops from disease. The move would save massive amounts of time and money. Monsanto notes typical crop protection takes 11 years to reach the market and cost $250 million to develop. AI could shorten that time period and make it much cheaper as well. Well, Facebook has dealt uh, with some very sticky issues lately. Fake news, live streamed murders, terrorist organizing on the site. So CEO Mark Zuckerberg says the company changing its mission. Instead of focusing on connecting individuals, they're going to work on building communities, namely by getting people to join more Facebook groups. Now, the groups can be set to secrets, meaning users don't see them in search results. And Tesla may be looking to start its own music service. Music industry sources tell Recode that Tesla is talking to the labels about licensing their music. Now, why doesn't Tesla just use Spotify or Apple Music? Well, a Tesla spokesperson says the company believes it's important that customers can listen to the music that they choose. And healthcare stocks jumped yesterday. The Senate bill reforming healthcare would continue to offer reimbursements to health insurance companies for subsidies for at least two years. It would also do away with current Obamacare care taxes and would phase out Medicaid's expansion program. The Senate is expected to vote on that bill next week. It does look like we're going to open a little bit lower so far this morning. We did reverse direction yesterday and closed mostly lower on the day. Financials and consumer staples were down. And later today we get fresh numbers on home sales. Life in the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King. Back to you. Jane, this is really interesting to me. We're talking about people who are stealing, shoplifting, and, and it's reached an all-time all high. Yeah, stores are spending less on loss prevention. So in other words, shoplifting. And maybe that's not such a great idea. In 2016, the rate of shrinkage, that's the industry term for uh, products that go missing for any reason, increased to about 1.5% of all sales. It's almost $50 billion, and that is the highest ever. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jane.